Hello and welcome everyone to another game of Full of Warships. Today I'm in the Pensacola, the tier 7 American cruiser. I am on the map New Dawn in the Domination Game Mode. It's a very favorable tier 7 match. There are almost no tier 7s, so pretty good matchmaking for me. Now the Pensacola is a very nice ship. She has pretty good anti-air like most American cruisers. She has some decent firepower with four gun turrets, two triple barreled, two double barreled. And as is with most cruisers, you have pretty decent high explosive ammunition, good rate of fire, so you can be a pain in the arse and set enemy ships on fire non-stop. You shouldn't underestimate the armor piercing ammunition though. You can score some good citadel hits on enemy cruisers and you should take advantage of that. Now on this map I decided to go to this flank I'm here with a destroyer who will hopefully spot something. Now it's not like destroyers have a higher spotting range, but they themselves aren't spotted easily, so they can get closer to an enemy and detect the enemy and not get spotted in the process. So you want your destroyers in front of you in order to provide information. Now it doesn't look like we will have many people on this flank so we have to be careful and I'm detected meaning that an enemy destroyer got close enough to see me probably a destroyer now we have spotted a Königsberg but he is behind an island so nothing to shoot at me yet and here come the enemy planes now as I said before, the Pensacola has some very good anti-air. In that case, I really should try to intercept those planes before they can do a lot of damage to my battleship. Now I use my defensive fire cooldown, which will boost my anti-air. I have also launched my fighter plane and I am trying to get closer to those planes to use all my anti-air armament. As you can see, there are many torpedo bombers left and I have a lot of plane kills already. Now while this is going on, I'm getting shot at by a few enemies, I return a few shots, but this battleship is still in pretty good shape. And I have killed eight, nine planes by now. So it was definitely the right decision to go out help my battleship. And now I can concentrate on shooting some enemies. Now my first target will be this Königsberg. I have armor piercing ammunition loaded. I can easily score citadel hits. A Königsberg is not very well armored. Well I obviously need a bit of luck. Because at this range you can't really aim for the citadels. But I mean he's showing me his broadside so I should get some good hits. But there are a lot of enemies in front of me and there are three citadel hits. Yeah he's going to feel that in the morning. Now our destroyer is, well, he is far ahead of us, but he is spotting a lot of them. He probably should get out of there. But I wisely turn around, because there are just too many enemies shooting at me. And my next target is a Furutaka, who decided to stop. Now this is probably the most stupid thing he could have done. There is absolutely no way I'm going to miss. And there are three citadel hits. 
He is showing me his broadside and he is stopping. The, I, I don't. Now he's reversing. He could have just continued to drive forward and turn his ship around. By turning, he would have prevented me from. <laughs> well, he would have prevented me from scoring Citadel hits that easily. And if he would turn around and driven back, he could have made it back to safety. And by turning, I would have had a hard time hitting him. But he decided to just sit there and die, which is pretty good for me. Now there are three battleships, a cruiser and a destroyer left over there. We have lost our destroyer, which isn't that much of a surprise. There were just too many enemies and he was too close to them. Now I got a hit at the destroyer. Killing the destroyer would be very important because he will probably go for my battleship and my battleship... Yeah, well, I mean... He is probably doomed. There are three enemy battleships and he is uh, big and slow. He can't really run away. What he could do and should do is angle better and drive. I mean, he is sitting there and calling for help and I don't know what he's expecting. I mean, What's stopping him from just like turning around and running away? How, how does he ever expect to avoid a torpedo if he's sitting still? Not to mention that there are three enemy battleships who could easily kill him. And let's hope I'll kill the destroyer? Nope. That was a pretty bad hit. He should have been dead with that salvo. But yeah, and he is still calling for SOS, which is the only indication that it's actually a player, which kind of makes me sad. Now I got the destroyer. But it's probably too late for that. Well, he did. He didn't get hit by two wheels, and now he is actually driving away. I don't know why he didn't do that sooner. I'm also not sure why he's still alive. These three battleships obviously either had the worst luck or they were shooting high explosive or they just didn't care. I have no idea. But we are still outnumbered. And when you look at the overall team score, it's looking really good for us. But then again, we have been outnumbered on this flank for quite some time and we are holding our own. Which leaves the rest of, of our team free to, I don't know, kill stuff elsewhere. So now I'm just shooting high explosive at battleships and hoping that I'll set them on fire. You can do a lot of fire damage if you just continuously set them on fire. So far I don't have much luck with that. But I will never penetrate a battleship with my armor piercing shells. And my high explosive shells themselves don't do that much damage. I do have a good rate of fire, but I'm mostly hoping to set them on fire in several places. Because the damage over time just really makes a difference. Now my battleship here has finally sunk. He lived quite long for his not so stellar performance. And now they'll all just hunt me. Now while all of this is going on, the scores have changed and the enemy team is catching up a bit. We have one destroyer coming back to defend the cap and we have, well, our people in the north probably finally pushing towards B. We still have the usual battleships who are very close to the zone vault where I really am asking myself why didn't they just take a more aggressive path sooner. 
I mean, the game has in progress for quite some time, and even if they were engaged in a battle, when you can see how far ahead some other ships are. I mean, even if you have the range and you can gauge someone at 20 kilometers, you probably aren't going to hit. And if you are not hitting, then what's the point? Anyway, I'm continuing to run away from those battleships and trying to slowly whittle them down. Still not that much luck when it comes to setting them on fire. But they aren't doing a very good job in stopping me. Now my destroyer is here. He has used his torpedoes and I can hope that he will score some hits. Because it will take me ages to kill those two battleships on my own. And let's just be honest, they uh, will probably kill me before that. If they get like one or two good hits on me, I'll die. And hey, I've managed to start another fire. Our team has taken the lead. Now, very soon this battleship will reach our capture point. Which I shouldn't be a problem. As long as I can shoot him, I can reset his cap points. The problem is if he kills me, then we won't have a lot left. One battleship has decided to go home and defend. There are only three battleships left. So at this point we really have to lead and hey! Yeah, that was an citadel hit. Now up there we still see, I think that's our carrier and a battleship of our own. I don't know why he still isn't moving. Maybe he's AFK. I think that's the only possible answer. But anyway, this game was a win and I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.